Hey Techno Studs, in this video we're going to jump on our Raspberry Pi and assign an IP version 6 static address to our network interface. And so what I have here is I've already brought up a terminal window and then within the terminal window I am going to bring up that doc that same document, that same configuration file that we use to configure an IP version 4 address. So I'll bring up, I'm going to this does need elevated permission, so I did my uh, sudo command in here. And then I, you, I'm using nano to configure this file. And then I navigate to the etsy slash dhcp cd.conf file. So I'll hit enter here. I'm going to scroll down where we have those static assignments to the different interfaces. I have both the wireless LAN I've got set up here and the Ethernet Zero. Ethernet Zero is the one that we're going to want to configure. I ha already have a static address statement right here. I'm just going to uncomment it. Remember those comments mean that it, it's, not, it's not going to look at that line if it's got that uh, pound sign at the beginning of it, that hashtag at the beginning of it. So I delete that and now it's uncommented. And so now it has activated this line. It says static IP6 underscore address equals, and then it gives the address that it just has set up by default on here. I wanna create my own, and so I'm going to have to do it somewhere within the FC to FD range here. So I'm going to actually do FC00 colon. And then what they do is they recommend that uh, these last network bits are random and the reason why they recommend it's random is because if you ever merge with another company or set up uh, s some sort of other connections with other devices if you go sequentially there could be a chance that the uh, that the other network that you're merging with has gone sequentially sequentially as well and you'll have overlap in your networks. And so creating something random is actually a really good thing. I, for the simplicity of what we're doing here, I actually want to make this real simple so that way um, we understand, uh, or well, one, it's just easier to type in, but two, um, uh, I'm going to, we're, we're going to actually get into different networks in the future. And so I'm just going to assign this to the FC001 network so that's the network and then colon colon and then the address that i'm going to assign to this and i'm going to line it up with the address that i assigned to eth zero so i'm going to do three it's uh so this is just the third host on this network just like i did with the ip version um uh, for address here. So uh, in reality, once again, you probably want to mix it up and do it, something a little more random. And in fact, in reality, a lot of times we don't even assign a static address to these, these machines. But in this case right here, I've assigned the static address and then I'm going to exit this. So I'll do a control X. Do I want to save? Yes, I do. And then where do I want to save it to? I want to save it to that same file. I hit enter. Now it is. So the next time that this service gets rebooted or I reboot the machine, then this static address will take effect. Once we've saved our file, then we're going to need to make the changes take effect to the machine. Just like we did with IP version 4, we're going to have to restart the interface, we're going to have to restart the service, or we just reboot the machine. I find a lot of times it's just easier to go and hit uh, log out on these and then hit reboot and let it reboot. Once the machine is rebooted, we can get in here and open up a terminal and type in ifconfig to see if the changes have taken effect. And I open this up, we're looking at eth0 and we see the IP version 4 address, we see the link local address here, and then we also see the IP version 6 address that I've assigned to this interface. So now that we know that we have an IP version 6 address set up on our Pi, let's see if we can ping it. I've jumped over to my demo laptop now, and I'm gonna pull up a command prompt to do this. So bring up a command prompt, and then I'm going to ping the address we just set up. So ping fc00 colon one colon colon three, and then I'll hit enter, 
and sure enough we have a ping so therefore we verified that this is actually set up uh, and we can ping this address now